Hello everybody, this is Ken, and today I'm going to show you all how to get a Bucket Minecraft server up and running with permissions and a uh, cool chat colors. So this is going to take probably 20 minutes, so if you, uh, you know, make sure you have some, some time on your hands. First, you're going to want to download a couple things. You're going to want to download um, Craft Bucket, which is this website. I'll put a link in the description for all of them. You're going to want to download Permissions EX and... Uh, you're going to want to download Essentials, Core Download, make sure it's this one. Uh, also, you're going to want to download Notepad++, which is basically, it's a better it's a better program than Notepad. So, once you have all those downloaded, um, you're up to par with me. So now, uh, wherever you want the server to be, I'll put mine on my desktop. Let's do New Folder Server, name whatever you want. This is going to be where all the server stuff is saved. So, go to your Downloads. And uh, as you can see, I have this stuff downloaded. This is Essentials. You know, this is Essential, this is Permissions, and this is the Craft Bucket. Open up the server folder. Nothing in it right now. And what we need to do first is drag and drop Craft Bucket into there. And make sure you rename it, otherwise the next thing we will do will not be able to recognize it. And rename it to Craft Bucket. So, that's all done. Now you're going to want to go to this website, which is, uh, it, it basically helps you up, uh, helps you to set up the server. And scroll down to whatever operating system you're on. I'm on Windows, so copy that code. You can just minimize that. And in the server folder, do right-click new text document. You don't have to name it. Just double-click it to open it. Paste that code in there. Do file save as, and I'll just call mine run. And make sure you do .bat after the name. If you don't do .bat, it will not work. Click save. And you can X out of that notepad and delete the text document. So now you have everything you need to get your server to actually run. Okay, so what you want to do now is uh, go to run. And that will basically get the server up and running. So it's going to take a couple seconds to get it running. Okay, so as you can see, it's done in about 8 seconds. So now you're in Minecraft, do direct connect and local. Oops, I cannot type at all. Local host. Okay, so now I'll join that. And you can see that the server is up. So now I'm on the server. I can destroy stuff, all that good stuff. And you can see if I type hello, you can see it in command prompt. So basically everything that happens here will happen in command prompt. Okay, so now you have the server set up, and now you want to set up permissions. So we'll just disconnect from the game. We can just minimize that and minimize that. You have a bunch of new folders now that your server has been run. Go into the plugins folder, and then go over to your downloads or wherever you save these two. Go to essentials, and you're going to only drag and drop four of them. So it's essentials, and then essentials chat, essentials protect, and essentials spawn. Do not do essentials anti-build. That just screws stuff up. Okay, go back and go to Permissions EX. Uh, do only drag and drop modify world and Permissions EX. Do not do Chat Manager because there's a better way of doing it. Okay, so you can X out of the downloads. And I'll just bring that back like that. Okay, now you need to reload the server because this has been added and it hasn't been reloaded again. So go to Command Prompt and do Reload. It'll reload that. And it'll create a bunch of folders like that. So now you have former folders. So it's uh, completed. You can just minimize that. Now, first to set up permissions, go to the permissions ex folder, and you're going to see two things: config.yml and permissions.yml. Right-click on permissions.yml, and do edit with Notepad++. So now you can edit that with the Notepad. As you can see, there's already a group that is called default. Um, default is true, which means that when someone joins a the server, they will be put in this group. And the only permissions they have so far is modify world. So they can only build. So they wanted to give this person a uh, fly command or fly, fly permission. Go to this website, and this is just all the commands. Um, and so here's the fly. So to give them the fly, you're going to look, you're going to click here, and uh, you're going to see that. So to give them the fly command, you're going to do essentials.fly. So in here, this is very important. Uh, before you uh, start doing anything, do preferences, language menu, slash tab settings, and then on the right you're going to see tab settings, scroll all the way down to YAML, select that, and it's going to be checked like that. Do not use default value, make sure the tab size is 4, and replace by space. So, 
basically what that does is when you press enter you have four spaces so very important after you you're gonna want to click right after modify world okay then click enter and if you configured it right you're gonna have four spaces between all the way to the left and where you want to start typing make sure you have four spaces because if you don't it will not work so I want to give some you know someone who's in the default group a fly command so do slash space essentials dot fly so now that person whoever's in this group has access to the fly command you can just repeat that for whatever commands you want um, just make sure you have four spaces slash space essentials dot whatever the command is now I want to make a new group for admins so just do enter and make sure there's two spaces name the group I'll call admin and then do a colon do enter again it'll do two spaces but make sure it's four put default to false so that means when they join it they will not be put in this uh, this group because that's a good thing you don't want someone who's joining to be you know an admin and have all the permissions enter again make sure there's four spaces put permissions and uh, uh, colon enter again now you want to give the admin all these cheats all these but you don't want to type them all out okay if I could okay didn't want to select all that um <laughs> yeah you don't want to type them all out because there's a lot basically there's a permission that gives you all permissions do uh, four spaces space uh, slash space and then do apostrophe asterisk apostrophe that is the permission that gives you all permissions if you're in that group so now we have two groups successfully configured enter again make sure you're all the way to the left with no spaces and type in users colon uh, click enter again two spaces and put in the name of the user you want to configure so my name is high tech taco uh, put a colon and do enter again make sure you have six spaces because if you don't have six spaces then it will not work type in group colon enter again make sure there's six spaces and put them in whatever group you want them so I want to be put in the uh, default group I spell it wrong D -E F A U L T so now high tech taco is in the group default say your friend Bob his name is Bob um, Bob joins to enter four spaces you know two spaces Bob colon enter six spaces group colon enter again six spaces uh, slash space admin so now Bob's an admin um, you don't have to do that because Bob is not on the server so we'll just get rid of that so now basically we have two groups default and admin and the user hijack taco is in the default group and anyone who also joins is in default so we'll do file save and then reload the server again which will basically reload all the stuff that you just did um, going to the server I'm just gonna stay logged into the server from now on okay so now I'm in the game and uh, let's see if I have access to the fly command fly high tech taco on so now I can fly however if I do game mode creative I don't have access to that command I can build and all that good stuff now I want to say okay not tick tock was been a good guy let's promote him to admin so do group admin and do file save reload the server and do game mode creative okay now I'm in creative mode that's great um, oh wait no I gotta I did not do the command right mode creative I check taco okay now I'm in creative now everything destroys instantly I have all that so basically you have just set up permissions for people on your server so you have that set up correctly um, let me just minimize that now actually no I'm not gonna minimize it say I say hi it's just boring white text you don't you don't want that boring white text so to configure uh, text what you need to do is just uh, now I can minimize that you can X out of this so uh, get rid of that go to the uh, okay so just go back to your server go to plugins go to essentials and do config.yml right click edit with notepad plus plus you're gonna get this and what you need to do 
is scroll down to line 486. With stuff on lost other lines, scroll down. Is it 486? No, it's 483. Sorry about that. 483. Um, right there. So this is this is basically how you this is the message format. Um, so do enter. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. Um, I had to basically redo. I had to redo the uh, code because I typed it wrong, but this is the right way. So right now we're in our uh, config.yml in our Minecraft server. Uh, this is she might be the wrong one, so we're just gonna make sure in the right one. Uh, where did I save it? Oh yeah, it's on my desktop. So I'll show you again. Um, just do right click or open that up. Plugins, uh, essentials, config.yml, edit with Notepad++. Okay, so yeah, we're in the right place. So what we want to do is we want to space until we're right under um, this text right there. So we're gonna type in the group we want, admin space, and we're gonna do an apostrophe. Uh, and then the and symbol and whatever color code we want it to be. So here's the color code. So I want my my name or my prefix to be red. So the color code for that is and C. And we're just gonna type in the prefix. We'll just do admin and or not a prefix. We're just gonna do that so it looks nice. So then we do a space and for my display name I want it to be gold. So that's and six. And uh, right after that, we do a little mustache bracket display name. Not sure what the formal na uh, name for that is, but I just call it mustache display name. And then after that, we do space, colon, space, and and then whatever color you want it to be. So I want my last one to be, uh, let's just say green, so that would be and a. And then the message, that would be uh, and the little mustache message in all caps. And then we do that and close it off with an apostrophe. Now we do save and reload the server. Uh, I was just testing it out back then so you can see the chat. And I do cut it all. And as you can see, the color code is correct. Now, the colon is not uh, the right color. So just adjust that, you know, just put the color code in front of the colon. So same as before, so do N6. Save it and reload. And, uh you know it it should work so there you go that's how you configure the text color um that's pretty much all i have for you guys um i just showed you all how to install or start up a new bucket server and how to get permissions working with some nice colored text as you can see it looks very nice so i really thank you all for watching if you have any questions uh please you know just put them in a comment or message me and uh thank you all for watching